Hello guys, uh, I'm here in, uh, in Italy and uh, I thought I could uh, uh, teach you guys uh, a quick lesson here uh, from uh, my friend's kennel. So we have this beautiful puppy here and um, uh, he's not gonna be shown uh, anytime soon. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start preparing his hair for showtime, you know? Um, sometimes when you, you have to prepare the hair of a, of a puppy, of a young dog, it's gonna look not so good as, as you finish preparing the dog, but the right type of coat start to grow in the right places and then uh, the dog will have the correct hair uh, because he has a nice hair here like in, a, in the top line is straight but uh, in the winters here, you know, uh, the hair is still a little bit too long. So we have to take this down now, okay? It's not gonna look great, but we'll prepare his hair for when he grows, the hair will grow um, uh, harsher here and you can start building layer. In the end, he will have hair like this to, to cover the winter part to go into the back, but it will be all shorter and with layers, okay? So we're gonna start him. Um, I get the chalk here and um, I'll put the chalk. I'm gonna be on the other side of the table so you guys can see, hopefully. Uh, let me get um, the, uh, let me find the knife here. I'm gonna, since I'm gonna strip him a lot, let me see if I find the tool. Is the tool here? Oh, here. Okay. Let's use the tool then first. Okay. So remember, we're going to take this all short. Don't mind how the dog is going to look right away. The importance is to know how you're preparing for later. Okay. So I'll put some chalk here and then I'll start to take. Look how long the hair is. So we're going to start to take it short. He, I can feel he still have a lot of uh, puppy coat underneath that just are uh, not so um, harsh. So we need to take him down. It's hard to not to be in a shot and show you guys, but what I'm doing here is taking the long hair. And uh, so in probably two and a half months, three months, he'll be ready to be shown, okay? If like, once we do this, then maybe groom him once a week, keep picking up the longer hair, you know, like, Every once a week, put him on the table, brush him, you know, look how the hair is growing, see where you have to pull more, where you have to pull less, you know, and then continue to work all over the body. So um, you guys prepare your dog for the, the hair to be shown. See, like, look, the hair is long, so you gotta start uh, shorten it up. Today, if I can, I'm gonna do another video uh, teaching you guys or showing you guys how you train your puppies on the table. We're gonna get a, a young puppy. I don't think she has been actually groomed much. So we're gonna show how we train them on the table so they learn how to behave. And 
we're gonna start grooming her so this is good for new breeders or people that are having trouble uh, getting their dog to behave on the table so um so that will be good Remember, when you groom a dog like this, you're not looking at the final product when you finish. You don't look like the dog is, when you finish grooming here, you see, oh, the dog is ready. No, you're preparing the hair for the future, you know? You're working the, the puppy's hair, so when it's time for showing, his hair will be in good shape. So I talked to a friend here in Italy and explaining that uh, when you are learning, you know, to groom, it's always good if you have a, a few dogs available for grooming, get one of the dogs and in that dog only use your fingers, okay? Don't use any tools. And in the future, you see the difference because then even with the tools, you have more control, you know what you're doing, and you are able to groom, you know that you can, you can groom a dog with only your fingers if you want. The, the tools help you, you know, they help to preserve your fingers as well, because when you do only, when you do only work with your fingers, uh, they start to hurt after a while, you know, like, so it's good to, it's good to uh, use the tools to relieve your fingers, you know, but, uh, And if you possibly can, train to do with both hands, right and left, okay? Because that will help you to, when you have to groom to the other side, it's always good if you can use the other hand as well. So this is a quick lesson to you guys, just to show you how we start preparing the a puppy's hair for the future. I'm not going to prolong this video too much, okay? But, you know, yes, he, he, in the future he will have to build more hair here, okay? But then you're going to build with layers not long hair okay it takes a while sometimes it's it's hard because you look at the dog oh, it looks a it looked a little bit better before you know because he had more hair here but uh you have to be patient when you're preparing a dog because uh 
There's things that you need to be done that if you don't do, your dog is gonna pay later because uh, you won't have the correct coat, okay? So this was just a quick lesson to show you guys to uh, clean the dog, uh, pull the dog's hair tight. Sometimes you have to do a few times, you know, not only one. And as the hair starts to grow harsher, then you start to work the hair and work the layers. Then in the future, for example, I'll come next week and I see a little bit of hair here, then I put just a little bit, okay? I just fix a little bit. Then a little bit all over, then I go next week, same thing, come here, brush the dog, take a look. Ooh, it's, there's some hair that I need to take care of here. So then you pull. And when you do that and you groom every week, you're, uh, you won't have too much to do in a dog each time you put them on the table. Sometimes if you do the dog every week with half an hour, 40 minutes, you can work on your dog and he, he'll be ready, okay? Thank you very much, it was a short video and I'm trying to, to do the video with the puppies later, okay? Thank you very much, bye.